Hello there, we're looking at round number three of today's uh, Modern Preliminary. And we're playing Empath Amulet and we're getting paired against the dreams of Ashiok. Etron Master. And uh, this hand is shaky against the Drastitron. So it's a turn five Titan. Well, my opponent kept seven and they're very good. So I would imagine that this is a death card already. I think I'm going to ship it. Ah, uh, five we go. Mm, okay, it's not great, but it will do. Uh, would I rather have two breeding pools, or would I rather have? This allows me to transmute even if I don't have a dryad, but this enables me to activate field uh, more quickly. I think I care more about activating field. Whoops. Yes, yeah, this is not very good though. If they have a quick start, we're gonna be in serious, serious trouble. Hmm. Don't want to expose the Valakut yet to a potential. Um, Carno, okay. So this crumbling vestige here is going to allow us to do both things, which is kind of nice. So now we can do this. We play the ghost water. No need to crack it. They're gonna need this member for the dryad. The bad thing is that if they go for the coat for the coating, they're gonna start taking care of our mana, which really sucks because we really need I guess if we draw any land and they don't have this member for the dryad, then we actually can blow them up. Coding. Wait, what? Why would they blow that one up? It's weird. It's pretty bad. At least they don't have anything else. And it seems like they don't have this member, which is definitely good for us. Some land drops here. I guess if we draw any land, we get to answer the Carno, which is solid. And I'm trying, of course, really hard to not expose the Valakut here, right? If we found a bounce land, we might be in business. Find a bounce land. All right, we need to draw exactly a bounce land. Any bounce land will do. It's the cool part. And I guess that I need to expose the Valakut now. Which is very, very frustrating. So they're gonna blow up my Valaka. So the, it means that this is no longer an out. So if they can, I guess they can minus for engineered explosives. Oh, that's brutal. Ugh. Is this another thought knot? I don't have another thought knot. That's just not fair. Smasher. Okay. 
So I guess if we draw a bounce land, we can we're still in this. Bounce land? So we can, if they blow up our amulet, we die. But then they also blow up my land. Like I really need to blow this up. I think we just got locked here. I'm trying to see if there's any else. Yeah, I guess that I, I can, I just need to draw a bounce on and I need these and these to survive. But if they blow up my amulet, then we just lose the game, so. Like, the only thing that's giving me an out right now is the amulet itself. So I need both the Dryad and the Stacy to survive, and I need to draw a Bounce Land this turn. And that's game. Oh, okay! Okay, Bounce Land on the top. Bounce on the top, we have one top deck. All right. All right. So if they had blown up the Dryad, they, we actually had no outs. We were just dead. So what am I going to do? Should I go after the Karn or should I go after the Ugin? I guess I'm gonna double block either way. But we can attack with the Dryad as well. So I guess that we should throw everything at the Ugin. If we do that, then they're just gonna block here. They take their free block and they take the free block here. So that's not very good. So we're going to have plus two damage from the Stronghold, it's just going to trample through. I think we have to clear the Karn. So Vestige is gone, Valakut is gone, Ghost Quarter is gone. Can get one. Yeah, I think we have to go after the car actually. So we have a bounce line in hand already. So we want to do this. And I think I want to play around. We don't play around another Thought Knot off the top. If they have a Thought Knot, we just die. We just cannot be the Thought Knot. We also... Maybe we should have protected the Stronghold there. We definitely should have protected... That was a point. I should have protected the Stronghold. No, my Titans are going to be a lot less effective. Crap. So Chalice is a problem, Second Thought Knot also a problem. I guess if they don't answer my Dryad, I can pack in response to a Chalice. No, because then they minus here. 
and the liquid metal coating here, so that doesn't work. Mm. Yeah, we're in a really bad spot here. We're not dead dead, but we are in a really bad spot. Scavenger grounds doesn't do anything. They're gonna name Walking Ballista. Did not see that one coming. Oh, they have a second car. Well, now that makes sense. Now that makes sense. Uh oh. It's the wrong land to blow up there. Unless they have a chalice. If they have a chalice, that was probably the correct land to blow up. They, okay, so they're just gonna blow. They're gonna kill the, the Stacy. That's what's going on. Okay, so yeah, so they're gonna. That's a cool art. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty sick art, actually. Uh, all right, so we need to top deck a, a, a Titan or an Asusa. Those are those are only outs. Titan or Asusa. Well, I guess that they have an active ballista, so Asusa doesn't do it. Stacy. Yeah, we're just dead. It was close, like they needed the second Karn. Was a close game. Was a close game. They needed everything. Okay, so Beast Within, Trackers, Force, Sage, this, Field, this. We can cut this, we can cut Bojuki Bob, we can cut. One of the cavern of souls. Cut another one of these. Explosives. And another one of these. With the Ember in the deck, it's like how to how to actually do this gets a lot. Like the cyberling gets a lot more um, weird, I guess. Like it, it's a lot less clean. That that that's it. That's a great way to say it. The cyberling becomes a lot less clean. Because like I would like to have access to this Stacy, but like Asusa is better than Stacy. So is Udo. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be playing Force. Should we play Stacy in place of Force? Maybe that's better. I've been pretty happy with my system of not bringing in removal against their creatures and just bringing in removal that actually answers their Karns and troublesome artifacts. Let me see how things go. Yeah, it was certainly. Suddenly a hand that did not develop particularly well, unfortunately. They also had a moderately quick start, and this hand does nothing, so we're gonna ship it. This hand does something, so we're gonna keep it. Um, we definitely keep it. I think I'm gonna ship the triad. Like I need, I don't think I can ship the Stacy because this is what's speeding me up. And Udo, like we're missing land drops here, so like Udo actually digging me towards the lands that I need is a big deal. If I had, if one of these lands were a bounce land, I would have kept the triad over the Udo. But since I don't, I'm gonna need to draw into more actual lands. Make things a lot, a lot more awkward. <laughs> nothing, nothing like drawing the good old thirteen drop on turn two <laughs> when you're missing land drops. Uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Okay, okay. Another land, please. All right. So any bounce land or crumbling vestige, we're probably gonna get thought knotted here, which is gonna suck. Yep. 
Or maybe not. Ha. Would have loved to find the land there. Would have loved to find the land there. So we have 10 draws that win the game on the spot. That is 10 draws that win the game on the spot. And then we have redraws with explore, redraws with literally any land. Okay, so they play the card, they expose it. I'm gonna plus, a minus. Okay, so that card is dead. Boat. The boat. Continuing missing land drops. Definitely not where we want to be here. But I'm gonna. I'm. I, I'm not playing around all this dust because if I play around all this dust, then the boat is actually going to be able to take out to take out my creatures one by one. Yeah, good thing that I bought on my my second ride instead of my Udo. Otherwise, we would be 100% stuck on this. Oh, brutal. Uh, well, that's a big one. Definitely going to crack this immediately before another car comes down. Field, good. Another one of these. You. So, is there anything that we can cast for two mana? I don't think there's anything we can cast for two mana. And we have access to, I guess I want to beat them down for one more damage. So yeah, I guess I'm going to crack this immediately. Another try it. All right, so next turn, we should get there. Covers. They could have like nothing that they can <laughs> name mean fail the griff. Fail the <laughs> griff is a top tier name right there. Alright. We have actual lethal on board, but I'm going to show them that I actually <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Actually, Feldegrave has two Ds. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't. I didn't notice that. I remember back in the day when when Christian Feldegrave was actually considered a good considered a good creature. Um, they're laying on those challenges. I think I'm just going to go with this. Like I'm. I'm kind of tempted by the Ember Call. Like I'm. I'm excited about the idea, but it's just like. Doesn't feel like it's gonna come together. Uh, and this hand is a keep. Uh, if they have Chalice on, this is one of the very, very awkward situations where Chalice on one would actually be better than Chalice on one zero. All right, turn three Tron. So they're gonna have turn three Tron, which is really bad for us. It's pretty funny, as I just mentioned, this is like one of the very, very rare scenarios where Chalice on what would actually be better than Chalice on Zero. Which is pretty funny. Alright. So so I showed them this already, so I think I'm just going to play Stacy. I think it's better to play Stacy, and then if it dies, it dies, than it is for me to like develop my mana by one, because I don't think that that by one is going to do much for us. But they have turns with so if they have like something busted going on, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So we're basically dependent on well, what my opponent has. If they have like Karn into coding, we might be in moderate amounts of trouble. Let's see what they fetch for. They fetch for mine, so we have to be mindful. We have to be mindful of this. <laughs> uh, 
the humor. Um, no, but for real, we have to be mindful of this in case we draw a woe squatter and we're gonna blow one of their lands up. Foil. OGR to Tron PCs. I mean, at least they're black bordered, I guess. This is so wrong in so many ways. Horpy Quail. I mean, if that's all they got, okay, we're gonna be in okay shape. Smasher. Well, we can beat that. That is beatable for us because of this fella right here. Okay, so. Play this. Play Asusa. Play Simic Growth Chamber, that's first land drop. Play Explore, bouncing this. We play this and we play this again. Yeah, that's that's, that's the line. Because this allows me to actually develop my mana as I go. So we're gonna explore now. Okay. Okay. One more land drop. Play this. Then we're going to play Triad. Play this. So if they have a Thunder, which they didn't have, so I think that if they have a Thunder, they would need to top deck it. So I'd rather play around. Um, now my mana is online, and I'd rather play around um, all this dust by not exposing the tracker. The only thing that gets me here is. Um, Thought not. Which they didn't have last turn. So they should technically not have this turn either. Last zone. So if they sack their land to blow up my amulet, like it's it's just too late now. So if they spend their turn doing this, well, that doesn't do anything, so that's cool. All right, so we're gonna be in fine shape here. We're also gonna get to crack a bunch of clues. Oh, hello. Um, so I guess we're gonna get to do everything, huh? So. Start here. Let's copy here. Tracker, you're so good, Tracker. How are you so good? Let's see what we draw. Okay, so we bounce this. Then we play this again. I, I I am definitely on developing my mana mode here. We're gonna have three mana. So as long as I keep my land drops here available. Okay, so now we have a pact. So we're gonna be able to pact for a titan here, but we're not gonna be able to haste it. We do have double pack though, but only two land drops, so that means that we cannot. We're one mana short, and they have the stupid torpor orb now. So we can crack one more clue, because if we find exactly a primeval titan, then we don't have to pack for it. Force of vigor. Oh, that's right, there's a chalice there. My bad. So I guess I tapped my mana super wrong here. This was, this was actually a big punt. I totally forgot about the chalice. That is fine, though. So we're out of land drops. We're out of mana. This is still fine though. This gives me max mana. Okay, so we're gonna pass the turn. Next turn we're going to... Now the tracker can just block the smasher. They're probably gonna blow up the amulet, I would assume. Again, if they have Thought Knot, it's kind of a problem, but ugh, gross. So, 
so we have to actually force... Oh, I forgot that Torpor Orb goes both ways. Oh my god. That is sick. Alright, do I need to do the Sand Step or not? I guess it depends on whether they blow this up or not. They're, they're probably going to. I think we might just get there, folks. If they do this on my upkeep, though, it's kind of a beating. So we force both... Yeah, I think we're just going to do this. I don't think we can really uh, risk it. Because if they, they blow us out, then we're not going to have enough mana to haste, which I'm very interested in. Yeah, I think we're just going to get there here. Someone respect. Uh, we can get that I could bounce land. Well, they, they, they might still have this member, so I'd rather just make sure that my... Okay, so there, there goes the amulet. They could still have this member, so I'd rather not play into it. Well, that makes things easier. So, Prime will Titan. This, this, this. Gonna do... Stronghold Valakut. Get some clues. Kill and kill. Always yes, always yield. They say GG's. Wow, the fact that they, did, they never found the Karn or they didn't find the Thought Knot in, in the nick of time ended up being the, the just the decisive, uh, decisive aspect of that, that game. Which is pretty cool. And we see the power of this card. And you can see why this is. Top three favorite cards ever, ever printed for me. Uh, Tyler the Striker was that entire game. She came down. She took over immediately. Even stopping my opponent's clock in its tracks. Like, immediately. That was that was a really impressive showing uh, of uh, Tyler the Striker. So, uh, very, very happy that you got to experience that chat. I guess Chad is not here, but as, as a watcher, thank you, thank you for, for for being here. And yeah, that's Tracker getting us towards that uh, 3-0. See you in the next video, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe.